Hi, and welcome to another episode of Beyond the Curb River City Living. I'm Jill Morenz with the Catalytic Fund. Today, I'm going to take you inside this stunning Victorian house in Ludlow, Kentucky. So let me show you around. Northern Kentucky's river cities are pretty cool. They're an exciting blend of historic and modern. As you explore the eclectic neighborhoods, you'll discover world-class public art, charming parks, interesting architecture, and friendly people. In this series, we take you beyond the curb, inside some of Northern Kentucky's most interesting homes. Come along with us. We know you'll love it here. The presenting sponsor this season is the Boardwalk Residences at Ovation. Stay tuned at the end of the episode for an update on this exciting development on Newport's riverfront. This urban castle is a beautiful old Victorian from the late 1800s. It was probably built as a farmhouse surrounded by lots of land. Owners Brandon and Charlie Wayman share how they found it. So he came with our realtor and... We, we looked at it, I loved it, and uh, I said, you need to come and check this house out. She was like, all right, I think I can look at it this afternoon. So I came back with her and we looked at it again. And then, you know, she fell in love with it and here we are. The big sunny rooms are decorated with the couple's casual style, incorporating vintage furniture, colorful art, lots of plants, and a great mix of textiles and interesting treasures. It was bigger than what we had anticipated that we would purchase. But I've always, always loved old style homes, the Victorian looking big porch. Um, and so I just was like, wow, this is like a dream home for me. And it has a tower. And so I can say that I have a castle. <laughs> the previous owners renovated this kitchen, which used to be completely closed off from the rest of the house. Once they opened it up, they had enough room for this beautiful island that seats six. Charlie and Brandon love entertaining with friends and the house is set up perfectly for that. Here's what you see when you walk in the front door. This is actually a split staircase that leads into the kitchen as well. I love our bedroom, how um, large it is and spacious, uh, the closet space is great. Um, the design, all of the old features that are uh, in the house, but yet how we've made it modern. Here is a before photo of their bedroom. Luckily, it had already been updated when Charlie and Brandon bought it. My favorite features of the home are the tower. I love the tower. I think it's super fun. Um, we have a chaise lounge in our bedroom in the tower, which is fun. Uh, take a nap or read a book in. Um, I love having the water um, spout above the oven. And we have a TV hanging in our bathroom, <laughs> right right, in, uh, right where the bathtub is. So um, have a glass of wine and watch one of my dumb shows that he won't watch with me. There are four bedrooms in the home. Two of them are set up as guest rooms for their family and friends. And Charlie uses the fourth for her office. Brandon's office is on the third floor. The guest bathroom style is a nod to the farmhouse history. The porch is pretty awesome as well. I like, love the yeah. porch. We sit out on that porch most nights, I would say. We go out there, have a cocktail. We let the dog out on a leash and he just, you know, hangs out out there, rolls around in the grass, he loves it. And then we built a deck off the back of our garage as well for additional, you know, outdoor space because we have the whole side lot as our yard. So that's been really nice. Um, and then landscaping, we've been putting in a lot of flowers and plants and things over the years um, living here. So the outside's just as important to us as the inside. It's just great to be right next to downtown Cincinnati, Covington, Newport. Uh, it, you know, we can ride our bikes there if we want to. We love that there's a grocery store that's easy to get to. 
Um, Taste on Elm has these really great um, groceries that are more high-end. You won't find them in as many different places. The variety of like coffee shops that are around here and stuff that we like to go to. And we often go on like a lot on Saturday mornings, for instance, we'll go on just a walk. And then we're just like, which coffee shop are we going to stop at? I love that it's walkable. So we can walk down to the main part of town and there's uh, quite a few fun businesses to go to. Uh, one being, I guess, our favorite is Ludlow Tavern. Uh, we know the bartender and owner pretty well and uh, they're so welcoming and inviting and we have a great time and uh, it's easy to get home after a night at the tavern, which is really good. <laughs> Here we are and it, it's been, been great ever since. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining me on our tour of this beautiful Ludlow, Kentucky home. We invite you to take a look at our other episodes at beyondthecurve.org. I'm Jill Morenz, and on behalf of the Catalytic Fund and our sponsors, I want to thank you for coming Beyond the Curve with us. Now, here's an update on the Boardwalk Residences at Ovation, our presenting sponsor for this season. Ovation is a 25-acre mixed-use development at the confluence of the Ohio and Licking Rivers in Newport, Northern Kentucky. The city, founded in 1795, prides itself on its excellent mix of historic amenities and contemporary development. Ovation is proud to bring new energy to complement the thriving businesses, neighborhoods, and unique experiences that make up this historic area. The views from Ovation connect everyone to Cincinnati, Covington, and other communities. More info at OvationOnTheRiver.com.